Hello and welcome to my scrap mechanic video about a pulse extender and an RS Norlatch. So first I'm just going to demonstrate how the pulse extender works. We have a button here and if I click it even for a short time, we get a much longer pulse signal out coming from the sensor and that's useful for the RS Norlatch which I'll show you over there in a moment. But first I'm going to show you how to build the pulse extender. So it starts off with a button, a upward facing sensor, bearing, walk to raise the height, a control block, a second bearing, another control block, and then I add these extra three blocks around the edge. Those aren't strictly necessary, but they'll make the pulse shorter, so you can kind of adjust the length that way. You connect the bottom bearing to the bottom control block, the top bearing to the top control block, bottom control block to the button, top control block to the sensor. And we need to set the sensor to switch mode, the bottom controller initial rotation 60, uh, input rotation 45 and the top controller to uh, 30 and set it to loop and so now you can see when I click the button we get an initial rotation to activate it and we'll keep going until the next block on top comes around and re-triggers the sensor to turn it off. So. How this works is with the RS Norlatch, I have the set and reset inputs. So if I click set, you can see the logic takes a little bit of time to go through. So that's why we have the pulse extender, and then we just hit reset. So it doesn't matter how long the input signal is. As soon as I let go, it'll run through the rest of the length and stop itself. Thank you for watching.